Namaste Gurukulians, how are you? I hope you are in the pink of the health. Well, today I, Pawan Kumar, is going to talk about next topic which we must understand after noun. If you have gone through the previous videos related to nouns and how to develop from singular to plural, now the time comes related to gender. So, what is gender first of all? This is the main thing. Any word which denotes its being male or female. Any word which actually tells us, which refers to being its masculine or feminine is known as the gender of the noun. For example, horse, dog, brother and father. When you know these words, when you speak these words, you automatically understand that it is the male side, male, dog, brother, father. So these all nouns denote a male. So these are known as masculine. When we talk about other side, for example, male, bitch, sister and mother. Now here I have changed their gender from male to female side. So horse becomes mare, dog becomes bitch, brother becomes sister and father becomes mother. So mainly you people or all the students understand these two types of nouns. But actually there are four. Number one, masculine. As I have told you earlier, any noun which denotes its male sex is known as masculine. You can take these examples as masculine. Next we have feminine. As the name is clear, feminine, any noun which denotes being its female is known as feminine. After it, we have common. Now, common genders are those genders which does not specify any kind of male or female. For example, when you say student, you say professor. Now, these two nouns, when you understand, you do not understand that is this male or female because we use them both to address both. In a class of males and females, we say students. So this is known as common noun. When we do not specify male or female. And last is neuter. Neuter is related to noun which denotes to non-living or livings. For example, ink pot, ink, etc. Now, after these, I'm going to read out the nouns when we have them in masculine and what becomes of them in feminine. Keep listening. I will read out the spelling for you and I will make you understand them. For example, nephew. Nephew is masculine and niece is the feminine. Next we have husband. Husband and when we change the gender of husband, it becomes wife. Man becomes a woman. Uncle, you know that, aunt. Brother becomes sister. Son becomes daughter. Sir, when you say respective sir, and when you change the gender, it becomes madam. Bachelor becomes spinster, understand? Usually we 
make the gender of bachelor is by maid m a i d but there is one more word which you can equally use that is spinster s p i n s t e r cock you know that that is hen bull becomes cow dog you know that bitch Do, uh, monk m o n k monk becomes nun king becomes queen widower widower is the man whose wife has died and the feminine when you change the gender becomes widow w i d o w moving on bridegroom becomes bride gentleman becomes lady lad l a d lad is used for a boy adolescent so lad becomes lass spelling l a double s lover becomes beloved wizard wizard the word which is which we use to address somebody who has magical power now wizard becomes witch when we change from masculine to feminine stag hind h i n d papa becomes mama lord lady earl e a r l countess drake this is male duck you can say male duck but this is actually drake d r a k e and duck is the feminine colt colt is you can say young of the horse young of a horse is colt and feminine is actually filly f i l l y buck you don't understand buck but if i tell you the feminine you will understand now buck is doe khargosh male is actually the buck and the other is d o e doe fox you might have learned it in your previous class or in your junior class becomes vixen ram u spelling is e w e horse you know that horse becomes mare prince princess now the ones which i'm reading out are easier to understand you please guess lion is lioness poet becomes poetess now this word h e i r it's pronounced as a h is silent the one who gets property after the death of a uh, father or grandfather now masculine becomes heiress h e i r e double s author the one who writes book authoress count countess giant the one who is big in size now masculine is giantess t e double s host h o s t the one who addresses the one who receives the guest so it becomes hostess manager now it becomes manageress mayor mayoress patron patroness next we have priest p r i e s t priest becomes priestess prophet in hindi this word is known as pegambar now it is prophetess shepherd shepherdess steward steward is the male person who keeps all the uh, record of the stock now it becomes stewardess actor actress master it becomes mistress as i told you these are easier to understand because most of the feminine can be made by adding e double s at the end tiger tigress emperor like king empress benefactor 
benefactress the one who receives the benefit conduct conduct the person who conducts uh, this usually uh, we uh, know as the person who gives and takes the ticket on the bus conductor condu conductress enchanter enchantress he mole she mole proprietor proprietress steer steeress stallion may uh, usually it's kind of horse but it is used for breeding so it becomes mare same like horse becomes mare stallion becomes mare he zebra for zebra we do not have any other way we simply add he or she so it becomes a he zebra or he zebra it becomes she zebra or she zebra both way you can pronounce them he pony the young one of a horse or a donkey he pony becomes she pony leopard leopardess he monkey becomes she monkey he chimpanzee now for chimpanzee as well we do not have any female other word masculine from from masculine to feminine we can't use e double s at the end of these uh, genders we have to say she chimpanzee he sheep she sheep he rat now see it's interesting one rat we have so many rat but we say he rat she rat he hyena she hyena these are wild animals he hound a kind of dog in the wild which kills to eat she hyena he hound she hound he jackal she jackal he porcupine she porcupine now the man who operates a machine can be called as machine man now this becomes machine woman he owl for the bird owl we say she owl oil man becomes oil woman here i'll take a pause okay moving on founder the one who actually uh, starts any institution etc or uh, any company who actually develops that idea we say that founder so it becomes foundress hunter the male who actually hunts huntress instructor becomes instructress negro becomes negress perceptor perceptress songster kind of singer it becomes songstress tempter the one who tempts you the one who allures you becomes temptress seamster uh, this word is for those males uh, who stitches okay seamstress waiter you know that waitress duke duchess murderer murderess sorcerer this is kind of wizard sorcerer becomes sorceress hero it's heroine sultan this word of english sultana administrator administratrix executor executrix milkman now you can guess is that milk woman no it's milk maid grandfather now you can guess all these grandmother landlord becomes landlady peacock it's peahen he got becomes she got he cat she cat he bear she bear spelling is b e a r man servant becomes maid servant washerman becomes washerwoman bull calf becomes cow calf cock sparrow and sparrow drone in hindi you know this as a male of b b which is a male drone becomes b in feminine interesting isn't it ox 
cow. Brother-in-law becomes sister-in-law. Son-in-law becomes daughter-in-law. Stepson means sotela beta becomes stepdaughter. Stepfather, stepmother. Stepbrother, stepsister. Maternal uncle becomes maternal aunt. Maternal means of mother's side. Maternal grandfather, in Hindi you may know that as Nana. Maternal grandmother, adopted son, adopted daughter. Bullock, heifer. Buck, which is like you can say Kargosh, dough. Next we have ambassador becomes ambassadress, governor, governess, inspector, inspectress. God, it is interesting one, the God we worship, but when we worship a female God, that is known as Goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S. Mr, Mrs, schoolmaster, schoolmistress, beggar man, beggar woman, great uncle, great aunt, merman, merman, uh, this is a fictional character, uh, the half man and half fish living in water and it's, uh, it is mermaid. Prosecutor, prosecutrix, viceroy, viceroyne, he buffalo, she buffalo, dairy man becomes dairy maid, watery, wateress. Watery is for a disciple, the one who worships somebody, male, and uh, it becomes wateress. Boyfriend, girlfriend, chairman, chairperson, spokesman, spokesperson. Father-in-law becomes mother-in-law, bull elephant, cow elephant. Statesman, stateswoman, he rabbit becomes she rabbit. Tom cat. Tabby cat, he ape, she ape, fisherman, fisherwoman or fishwife, he camel, she camel, he kangaroo, she kangaroo, he hare, she hare, he squirrel, she squirrel, he rhinoceros, she rhinoceros, he panther, she panther, he mouse, she mouse. Now, this is part one of gender. I will continue in part two in my next video. Till then, listen to this video see, uh, very carefully and you will understand from masculine to feminine. Thank you. Have a great day.